everybody to hashtag bet that your weekly handicap show for the NFL and the picks and where to get them right here, right now. It is I, your host, Mike Pierman, Sr. of the Soul and Sports, located on Fox Sports Radio 1340 WHAP Hopewell. And as you can see by this beautiful blue I'm wearing, my Chicago Cubs are in the World Series. But that's a show you can catch Monday through Friday only on Fox Sports Radio 1340 AM Hopewell. But people, I tell you this much, I told you guys, just like I've been telling people for nine years, it's chess, not checkers. My little daughter, my son, my wife can tell you who's going to win a game. Hell, they do that every Sunday, right? When you're watching NFL Sunday ticket or whatever it is you're watching, your pregame show before your games go down. Anybody can pick winners, but we're not here to just pick a winner. We're here to show you how to make money. Hashtag bet that. I told you guys, again, it's chess, not checkers. Another great week as the momentum starts to build like the Chicago Cubs making it to the World Series. We can do this, people. Listen, this week, a lot of things going on. A Thursday night game between Jacksonville and Tennessee. Tennessee's heard about four points. Now, guys, this is that game where Tennessee has come out this year. They have played well at times. They played stagnant at times. Jacksonville, no matter what people thought they were going to do, I told you guys what they could not do. No matter how many of my video gamers out there thought that Jacksonville is the best team because they're built that way on a video game, what is a video game is not always reality. And reality tells me that this Jacksonville Jaguars team still cannot get over the hump. And I'm talking about the hump that is winning games in the NFL. Give me Tennessee to lay the three and a half points. Take Tennessee all day on Thursday night football. Then we got a game between the Cincinnati Bungles against the Washington Redskins. Here go a Washington Redskins team that had the game won last week against Detroit. I picked them to win that game. One of my few losses last week as Josh Norman goes out the game. Who was, I mean, chill, let's be real. He's the real MVP because without him on that defense, they couldn't seem to stop anybody in the secondary. Now they have to travel to Cincinnati. Listen, A.J. Green is going to pose a problem if we, because we don't know right now if Josh has been cleared to play and pass the concussion protocol. So as, as of right now, even if they got Josh Norman out there, I don't think the, that the Washington Redskins can beat Cincinnati and Cincinnati. Cincinnati favored by three points. Give me Cincinnati and later three points. Then we got the, what they call the, the uh, game of the week on your Fox Sports radio or your Fox Sports channel as we got the Packers of Green Bay going down to Hot Atlanta to take on the Atlanta Falcons who gave up uh, a game in the fourth quarter. We don't know how they gave up to the San Diego Super Chargers. I told you guys the Chargers wasn't bad even though I didn't pick them last week. I told you they wasn't a bad team despite losing Mr. Catfish, a.k.a. Manti Teo himself, their defensive best player on defense. Now, Atlanta... Green Bay. Now, here, I'm going to say this. Green Bay Packers, I'm sorry. The Packers of Green Bay have been who they've always been. Now, you've got everybody telling you Aaron Rodgers is this. This team can't do this. I know one thing, and one thing I know for sure is that every single time you doubt a future Hall of Famer, they come back to bite you in the arse. However, not this week. Give me Atlanta and the three points. I'm loving Matty Ice. I'm loving Julio Jones. I'm loving, how, outside of the fourth quarter last week, how the defense has played for this team this year. I think they bounced back very well at, Atlanta, at home this week and come and get the victory. So give me Atlanta and the three points. Then we got Houston at Detroit. Now, this is a tough game. This is that game I want to tell you, hashtag do not touch. But you know what? I'm going to touch it because Detroit, <laughs> I'm just saying, people, is Detroit, has made a believer out of me. Matthew Stafford has done it. He has proven that he does not need Megatron and that he can spray the ball to various receivers out there. The running game is playing better. The dreadheads on defense are playing better. Uh, they're underdogs on the road against Houston. Listen, I said it last week. I got to be a man to you guys this week and be honest. 
I thought Austin Wilder could be the guy. I mean, come on, you're six foot seven. You got a cannon for an arm, but it seems like you got a noodle for a brain. You can't seem to put this together. You can't read defenses. You got this great receiving core and Hopkins and Fuller from Notre Dame, and you still can't win games. J.J. Watts has not been a Javion Conley's not hurting. He's playing well, and they still can't win. I don't know. I like Houston a lot in the future, just not this week against the Detroit Lions on the road. I think Detroit goes into Houston and wins that game. Matter of fact, make it my upset of the week, Detroit over Houston. Then we got Seattle coming out of New Orleans. Seattle uh, off the tie. And some would say, I'm one of those guys that would say it, the most boringest NFL game I've ever seen. Missed field goals after missed field goals. But Seattle is a very good team. New Orleans, <sighs> I like Drew Brees, shall I say. I'm not sure if the team is really good. I believe in Drew Brees. This game is at home. Uh, Seattle's favorite by three. They come into uh, the West Coast team, come into an East Coast game at one o'clock. It's not always uh, paid favors for the visiting team, which is the West Coast team coming East. I believe it's an 82, 85% uh, rate. Uh, and that kind of a matchup, I got to go with the statistics there. I got to ride the hot hand. I've been riding all year long. Give me New Orleans to cover Seattle. Then we got Buffalo. At, I mean, New England at Buffalo. New England on the road is favored by a touchdown over the Buffalo Bills. That's almost unheard of. I'm going to tell you why. For those who don't know, this is your first time to the program. And the NFL, and shall I say, in Vegas, they give you home dog. They always give the home team three points. Even if the team is bad, they're still mostly favored. This is a nine-point turnaround. That means Vegas thinks that this game was in New England, the day New England Patriots would blow them out by 10 points. It's seven points on the road? Give me Broadway Brady and New England Patriots to cover the seven against Buffalo. They're just at the team we thought they were. Uh, banged up uh, Shady McCoy. We don't know what we're going to get with him this week. I'm giving me uh, New England to cover this points. And I know that uh, uh, every once in a while, uh, uh, Ryan can come out and have a good game plan against a Belichick team. I don't think it's this week with the, with everything that's going on with Shady McCoy and, and how that team is playing. They played good, but just didn't like how they played last week. Give me New England to cover the seven points. Then we got the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Who's going back in a quarterback against the Cleveland Browns in Cleveland? Guess what, guys? I rolled Cleveland all year. They uh, This is week, what, eight in the NFL. They've covered five of the eight weeks. I'm trusting them to cover again this week with all the turmoil going to New York City. Give me the Cleveland Browns to cover the four points against the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Then we got Tampa Bay at home against Oakland. Now, this is truly 100% why we call this an untouchable special. What's the untouchables? That's my crew. Jay Chris, Urban Sports Scene Wally, uh, my man. Uh, all those guys that come through on the Sober Sports where Barbershop talks to me radio. Because listen, what, what happens in the barbershop is going to stay in the barbershop. But we can talk about anybody and whoever and whatever we want to in the barbershop. Every single day, Soul and Sports, S-O-U-L, Capital N Sports on the Twitter. Make sure you listen to the show. If not, guess what? We're available on iTunes and Stitcher. But I call it my untouchable special, like I call my crew, because this is a game that's very dangerous. You got two up-and-coming teams, two quarterbacks. This is probably, to me, the best game to watch on Sunday at 1 o'clock is Tampa Bay versus Oakland. I don't want to touch it. Look, I, I, it got my head scratching right here, but I got to touch it. I got to touch it because somebody has to have balls. And guess what? I have them the size of grapefruits. Give me Tampa Bay because they're the home favorite. Well, it's pretty much a pick game. So I'm going to go ahead and take Tampa Bay to take this game over Oakland. Then we got Kansas City favorite by three points over in Indianapolis. Going to Indianapolis, give me Kansas City. Uh, I know Indianapolis won last week. I still think they're a, 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 a piss-poor football team. The coach should go. The general manager should go. Hell, the owner should go. I think that Andrew has completely almost run out of luck. I know, like, completely almost. I said it. So it's like, I mean, are we done? or I'll be finished. Put some respect on my name. Like you're going to respect the Chicago Cubs. Give me Kansas City to beat uh, Indianapolis and Indianapolis. So then we got Denver Ferry by five and a half. That's six points against San Diego. My team, I love the Superchargers, but uh, Denver is a team that is defensively very, 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 very good. And they're home. So give me Denver and the five and a half. Then we got Carolina coming back after the bye against Arizona, a tough Tough game. Another 1 o'clock game. Now, you can say, well, Mike, you just said the other game was the best 1 o'clock game. 
This is a second one. If I had, but if I had to choose, I'm taking the two young quarterbacks. Um, neither one of these teams are playing good, Arizona and Carolina. Somebody has to turn it around. The question is, who do you believe in? I'm taking a home team. Give me Carolina to take the three points and win outright. Then we got the game of the night. Now, this is where uh, I will take my fandom, sit over here, and be honest. How good are the Dallas Cowboys America's former team, because they're not America's team anymore, guys. That's the that's the uh the New England Patriots, okay? The five points, five points they have this team, the Dallas Cowboys over the Philadelphia Eagles. I know Carson is not all that great in Pennsylvania, has been playing well the last few weeks, but how good? I mean, this Dallas Cowboys team. I said it before on my radio show. I got two bad knees, and I can get sixty yards or more behind an offensive line. I can stay upright behind an offensive line. Des Bryant, it will be back this week. The Eagles secondary is having problems. The problem I have with this and why I'm still talking to you is that I'm not sure if it's worth five points. Is this a field goal game to me? It's a field goal game to me. I'm taking the Philadelphia Eagles to take that. I think the better defense wins this game. We're going to find out if the Dallas Cowboys are for real. Then we got the Monday night of Chicago at Minnesota. Minnesota fair about six points over Chicago. Give me Minnesota. I think they bounced back from the loss they had last week in, in Philadelphia. Um, I, I think this this team is going to prove the pundits all wrong. I love how this was the one that this was the best team in the NFC. They lost to the Eagles. Now all of a sudden they're not good. Baffert's back to being bad, and, and this team can't do anything. That defense is one of the best defenses in the NFL, and has been an up and coming defense in the NFL for the last few years. Contending with the Arizonas, contending with the Cincinnati's and the Carolinas. I think Minnesota is that damn good and damn sure good enough to beat my hometown Chicago Bears and Soldier Field on Monday night. Listen, guys, there you have it. My my winners of the week. I have not given my lock yet. I'm holding it for you right here, right now. My winners, however, give me Tennessee over Jacksonville. Give me Cincinnati um, over Washington. Give me Atlanta over Green Bay. Give me Detroit over Houston, my upset of the week. Give me New Orleans over Seattle. Give me New England over Buffalo. Give me Cleveland over the Jets. Give me Tampa Bay over Oakland. Give me Kansas City over Indianapolis. That's my lock of the week right there. Kansas City over Indianapolis. Making a return back there to where that playoff game happened a couple years ago. Give me Denver over San Diego. Give me Carolina over Arizona. Give me the Philadelphia Eagles over the Dallas Cowboys. And give me Minnesota over Chicago. People, listen. So Fox Sports Radio, 1340am.com is the only place you can go to get all your sports and information. We got some of the best writers, best photographers in the world. We're up and coming. Why? Because the Cubs are up and coming, baby. Listen, do you believe in miracles? Guess what? You might have to start believing them because guess what, y'all? The soul in sports is taking over. Hashtag bet that.